So now we're going to tie um, a little crab pattern that we use in the salt flats for redfish. Got a couple buddies who are fixing to go south and we were thinking about going south on fall break and this is just the go-to fly I've always had success with redfish for. So tonight on our Wednesday night fly fishing or fly tying, we're going to do a little saltwater fly. So basically what we've got here is a size two um, saltwater hook and we want to make sure, you know, that you use a saltwater hook just so they're not getting all rusty and stuff as saltwater hits them. I'm going to use some pink thread, some white cording. This cording here is basically what they use for trout fishing, uh, trout lines for catfishing. Um, you can buy a big spool of it and it works really well. Then we're going to use a piece of bucktail and some bead eyes. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to tie these eyes on. So I'm going to set our thread in place. Then... These are large bead chain eyes. Um, if you're gonna do much work with bead chains, get you a pair of little bitty dykes. Cut you a little piece. Now we're gonna tie everything on the top of the hook and then when the fly hits the water, the weight of these big eyes are gonna actually lay it down to where it floats on the, on the bottom of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to set that bead chain up on top of the hook. We're going to do a couple wraps this way. And then do a couple wraps the other way, basically in a figure eight. Then I'm going to go in under each time. And then a couple wraps that way, a couple wraps that way, back under. We really want to lock this eye in place. And figure eight it. Then we're going to just bring our thread down and take a piece of this bucktail. We're going to cut a little bit of bucktail off. Once we get the bucktail cut, trim it off kind of even. And we're going to lock this in place. I try to bring that bucktail as close to the eyes as possible because it's actually going to also be part of the body of my fly. Then I bring my thread back to the curve of the hook and I tie that bucktail in up the curve to where it's actually going to have the, the what will be the tail of the fly poking up when it's laying in the water. So we're going to take a little bit of this, beans. I'm using pink colors, we're going to take a little bit of pink flashaboo, just a couple strands. And the way I tie flashaboo in is just like I did those eyes, I'm going to just kind of lock it in place and then pull it around the other side then I'm going to just fold it back and tie it again back to that curve to where it goes up so we're going to take that cording we're going to cut a couple pieces And they're a couple inches long. What we're going to do is we're going to tie that again, just like we did them eyes in a figure eight motion. Once you get that locked in, just build up a little bitty piece right there where it covers the white and cut another piece of this. Cording. and fish it in between then we're going to build up a little bit of the body again basically just making a pink spot on the body where the cording isn't cut another piece of cording my craft is wanting to be a little bit tricky with me all right once we have that done I'm gonna figure out that piece in and you can do three or four pieces 
Um, I'm going to do one more piece on here and make it a total of four. Figure it in. All right, and then we're going to wrap a little thread behind this eye just to kind of even up the body a little bit. And we'll lip finish it in. Do a couple pieces or a couple lip finishes. We'll take our thread and whack it off at the bottom. Now I do something on these where I do the whole body. I go over all of that thread body. Um, saltwater fish are pretty tough on equipment, so I try to make the threads and stuff way more durable. So the next thing we're going to use is a little cat brush like you pet your cat with. We're going to take these pieces of that thread, that cording that we made the body out of, we're just gonna just kind of brush it all up. And just kind of puff it out both ways and then take your scissors and I use these little curved scissors they work pretty good so what I do is I'll just take and kind of do that and once you get it cut back You want to brush it again. I'll just thicken it up a little bit. And then literally stand above it and look. And like I can tell I got a little bit more carried away with my scissors on this side. And you just kind of even them out. And when you get done, there's your little crab pattern, and it'll float with that tail right in the air. So as you're pulling it, that'll look like its antenna where the where the flashaboo is. And I'm telling you what, them are some highly effective little things. So yeah, we'll see you next Wednesday night.